Okay, now we're going to take a look at a tabular data sources. So, moving to the remote box. <coughs> and the first thing I want to show you down here is how to tell if your server is running in a tabular mode. Um, <coughs> the easiest way to spot this, if you notice I'm connected up here to Matheno Group's member server, tabular. Now, I just named the instance tabular so that it would be easier to spot. And as we drop down here, I've got Matheno Group Member Server, which is the traditional analysis services. And of course, I didn't show you what I was supposed to. Look at the icon. This icon here tells me I'm in tabular. This icon down here is the standard icon that we have for a analysis services database. Let me show you that. See, so, oops, there's my cubes. Okay. And then the, stand, the other icon, this one down here, which looks like a can, rather than this one here's a cube. That's my traditional database uh, that I'm using down here. This is just Athena Group member server. And it, by the way, see all this down in here? That's everything that comes in off of uh, SharePoint because I've configured SharePoint to use this service also. Now, <clears throat> when I uh, configure um, the tabular in here, I'm going to use Matheno Group Student, which is a very simple little database that I've created here with simple little tables. And uh, what I want to do is use something that's rather easy and runs rather fast. So I've got that. Here is what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to create a tabular database based on this underlying relational database. And what I've got here is I've got a customer and I've got orders and I've got order details. And if you notice, I've got some relationships. So that customer customer ID is related down here. And then also I have order ID and order ID. And the tabular will detect that. OK, let's go through. Now I'm going to click Start. <clears throat> I'm going to go to All Programs. And I'm going to go into SQL 2012. And I'm going to use the SSDT tools. And when I fire that up, you notice once again it's Visual Studio. <clears throat> so now when I go in here, I'm going to I'm going to connect in. By the way, let me show you a little oddity. If I go File and then I go Open Analysis Services Database, one of the things I'm supposed to be able to do here is be able to come in and connect into a tabular database. And if I entered the name of the server and uh, and then the name of the database. You're going to get an error down here if you actually try to connect into what you traditional SSAS we call online mode. And if you hit books online, it'll tell you that's the way to do it. And truly, that won't work. The way you really want to do it is you're going to go File, New, Project. And down here, <coughs> when you have already have an existing tabular database that you want to hook into, you're going to tell it Import from Tabular. All right, let me cancel out of that and actually do what we're supposed to be doing. So now we're going to create a new, yeah, maybe I will, new project. And I'm, again, I'm selecting analysis services down here. And I want to create a tabular project. Right? And let's give it a name down here, something clever. So I'm going to call this demo. I know that's not very clever, but we'll call it demo. And I'm just going to say OK. And we'll wait for it to come up. OK, now she's up and she's running. <clears throat> and I've got Solution Explorer over in here. I'm going to go, what is it, model? Yeah, model import from data source. And now I would pick my data source that I want to import my data from. See, I can bring it in feed in from traditional analysis services. Look at the unbelievable amount of feeds that we have down in here. All right, but I'm going to bring it in from SQL. And I come down here in the front of the name SQL Server, and I'm going to change that over to SQL th Server, and I'll call it uh, Athena Group Student, just for laughs. And the server name, if I pull down my down I icon here, she's going to query the servers, and in a second here it'll pop back up, and we know we're going to bring it in off Athena Group uh, member server. And I'm going to log in with Windows Authentication. I'll test my connection. It worked. And I'm going to go Next. Oops. Sorry. Let me fix that. 
Okay, if you read the uh, error down here, you'll see the idiot instructor uh, forgot to pick a database. And we want to bring in student. Okay, now we'll test it. And it worked. And we'll say okay. Now we'll go next. Okay, and I'm going to connect in as Matheno Group student. Um, <clears throat> Matheno Group is also the name of the domain. So Matheno Group student and my password is password, capital P-A-S-S-W-0-R-D, the same password I use everywhere in all of my courses. And we'll go next. Select the list of tables or we could write a query. We'll select the list of tables. And we'll go next. And we're going to bring down, again, we're going to bring down order details, orders, and customers because we want to see <clears throat> customers, orders, and order details. And we'll say that's fine. And I'm going to go preview just to show you this. So you see this is a standard tabular display. And we'll say OK. And we'll say finish. <clears throat> and this is why I uh, went through and did this with a very easy little database because we could, if we were pulling in millions of records it would take quite a while. And now we'll say close. And that was pretty easy. Now we have a tabular model. So let's set up some measures. Remember, measures are things that we're going to actually come through and slice and dice. So down here across the bottom, which you should be familiar with, like with Excel, I'm going to go to Order Details. And Order Details gives me quantity and unit price. So I'm going to click below that. And up in here, the easiest way, I'm just going to click Sum. And... We now have, if I expand, if I expand this row out so you can see it, the sum of the unit price. So down here we have quantity, and let's sum that. And now I have quantity, and down here is a discount. And for this, just for laughs, I'm going to change this out, and I'll make that the average of the discount. All right, and I'm going to click save just because I can't stand to not. And now we'll come through. And believe it or not, we're almost done. Now you can go in here and add columns, etc. But this is not a course on tabular. All right. So anyway, let's see. We're going to go model, and I want a model view. I'm going to switch over to diagram view, which is a very handy little view. All right. <clears throat> see the discovered relationships, and it came down and picked up off off the database. So let's expand this stuff out a little bit, and I'll show you something else. So there's my customer ID, and here's my orders, and here's order detail. Let me bring that on up a bit and resize it. There's my measures, some of unit price, some of quantity, average discount in here. And now let's create a height or archy. So I'm going to go in here, and over here I'm going to select within the customers table, I'm going to take the region, I'm going to right-click region, and I'm going to say create hierarchy. And now regions down here. Now this next is a little, little weird. You're gonna, I'm gonna grab country and I'm gonna move. Be careful down here if I can get it to resize. There she comes. I'm gonna drop it below. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now I've created this hierarchy, region and country. Again, I'll save. Now I'm gonna go up here to build and I'll build it. Build succeeded down at the bottom, and we'll deploy it. Uh, yeah, we'll deploy it. Build and deploy demo. Bing, 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 it worked. Let's close out of this, and let's switch back over to <coughs> Analysis Services, I'm sorry, to a SQL Server Management Studio, and just shrink everything up in here so you can clean this up a little bit and now I'm going to go into database I'm going to right click database I'm going to refresh remember off my tabular and there's my demo so I've got that and here's the information coming in here's the actual databases now let's go in and look at it now one of the differences if, if I right click this down in here you notice I don't have any browse function down here I can do the standard script Backup restore, right? And I can restore also. Notice from Power Pivot, right? <clears throat> now, I'm sorry. Here's my browse function. If I come in and look at the browse, what I meant was I don't have any standard cubes that I can go in and look at the browse. Now, if I expand out measures, 
order details. There's my sum. I can right click that and add it to query down here. And we can go down here and we can look at order details. And I'll take quantity and I'll add it to the query. And as you can see, this, this is very simple, but we don't come in here and we just actually select the database down here. We don't have any cubes that we go in and we do the browse of. Okay, let's go in and connect into this within Excel. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to start Excel. There we go. This is Excel 2010, obviously. And now I'm going to go data and I want to create a connection and I want to add a connection. <clears throat> All right, and what I want to connect into here is I want to create a new connection and just a second. All right, I pulled down the wrong box here. We want a connection here, get external data, and I'm going to go from other sources. And we're in here, we're actually coming into analysis services. Remember, I, analysis services is now split into multidimensional and tabular. So I'm going to say analysis services, and the, and the name of the box, Matheno Group, member server, tabular. That's the instance that we're using down here. Windows authentication is fine. And there's the model that I'm coming down and I'm connecting into. And you notice it's bringing it in off of this GUID. If I pull that down, we're going to come in and we're going to, we can, we can select that. Matheno group model. And I'll go next. And it normally, you know, it's asking me to put a uh, description in there, which would be a, a really good idea. But I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to say finish. <clears throat> Tie into the existing worksheet is fine. Pivot table, and we'll just say OK. All right. Now, notice over in here, here's my pivot table field list. And here's my orders. So if here's my measures, let's come down and pick sum. And lo and behold, there's my sum. If I come down and pick sum of unit price, there's my sum of unit price. And if I want to come down here and let's pick something like uh, order details, let's pick the product ID. So there's my product ID and my unit sums, etc. And if I move up here, here's my hierarchy. I'm going to select the hierarchy. And now she moves down within this hierarchy that I went in and I created. So I've got the AZ, whatever that is, you know, and I created the regions and the countries. So, and here's Jordan. You can see the hierarchy coming on down. And that's really all there is to it. Very simple to create these uh, um, tabular databases. Very simple to create them, deploy them. You back out, and if you, you uh, don't like what you have, then we just go back over to Manager Studio, and you can just right-click them and dump them on out.